Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. A couple of weeks ago, I spoke about the strength of saying no. And in that episode, I talked about how having respect for yourself by placing boundaries and saying no um, actually causes you to be a stronger person. But I want to add to what I spoke about in that episode, because it's not just about saying no, but there was something I left out, which I've, it's been bugging me and playing in my mind, and I want to share with you. And it's about when you say no, saying it without emotion. Because what often happens, and I've noticed that certain cultures have more challenge with saying no than others. Um, for instance, I lived for quite a long time in Botswana, and the people there have a huge respect for their elders. It's very much part of their culture. And women for men and all sorts of things. And saying no is something that is incredibly hard for them to do. And what I've noticed that happens through the coaching I've done is that people will leave saying no because they don't want to cause disruption. They don't want to upset people. They don't want to unbalance the status quo. They want things to remain calm and peaceful. And so they hold off on saying no. But what happens when they hold off on saying no is that their tensions build, their anger, their resentment, their feeling of disrespect, all of it builds and builds and builds. And finally, when they eventually say no, what the other person receives along with the no is all of that pent up emotion that gets hurled at them. And when this happens, the person reacts not just to the no that they've been delivered, but to everything else that's come with that no. And most people aren't aware enough to be able to pick out <laughs> where everything's coming from. And so then they react to what's been sort of thrown at them and things get very messy. Um, there's resentment, there's distance, there's misunderstandings, um, there's all sorts of things. But if, and if you are aware of all of what I'm sharing and you're able to implement what I'm going to share with you in a few minutes, well, not even minutes, a few seconds maybe, <laughs> then when you say no, people will hear no for the reasons that you're saying it rather than the emotions that you've attached to the resentment of not saying it. Because when you say no very clearly and you say it from a, um, a peaceful, clear, firm, present space, then people hear that no. They might react badly, but their reaction is their own reaction. It'll be because they aren't able to manipulate you. They aren't able to get what they want through you and because they are forced to respect you. When they come from that space, they might try manipulation, they might try all sorts of things, but because you're standing on a very firm grounding, they might not be able to move you as easily as if you're standing on a lot of emotion. Um, the way I see it is that when you're coming from a present grounded space, it's like standing on bedrock. It's like standing on a massive boulder and having firm footing. When you come from an emotional space, it's like standing on almost liquid mud and, or shifting sands. And it, it's like when you project the emotion out and it's hurled back, everything starts shifting and moving. And I think it's also the reason that people are so afraid to say no, because in the past when they've said it, it's come from an emotional space. And then the reaction from the person they're saying it to is also then from their emotional receiving of the emotion that's been projected onto them. A lot of emotion. <laughs> now, how to ensure that your no comes from a place of firm presence rather than emotion is simply, first of all, to acknowledge the emotions that you're feeling, to understand where they're coming from. And in acknowledging them, you're taking the power away from the unconscious reaction to them. And you can then make a conscious choice about how you firmly say that no. So it's acknowledging those emotions, then it's deciding how you want to be, how you want to show up in spite of those emotions. And then thirdly, it's placing those emotions to the side. Because I'm actually, I'm sure I've done um, an episode on emotions in the past, and I'll see if I can put a link to it. If I can find it, I'll put a link to it below. Because emotions are simply there as feedback from our environment to tell us what is and is not working. And when we put off saying no, we deep down, we know that we're disrespecting ourselves. 
We're disrespecting ourselves on so many levels because we're making other people and other situations more important. We're not holding space for ourselves and we're not honoring ourselves. And then the feedback we get, the resentment, the hurt, the anger, all of the stuff that we feel emotionally is feedback from us not honoring ourselves. So when we acknowledge it, it's the first step to honoring ourselves. And when we decide that we want to act differently, we can let go of that emotion because it no longer serves a purpose. We've heard the feedback, we've listened to the feedback, we know what we have to do. And then it's simply saying to the emotions almost in your head, thank you, thank you for making me realize this doesn't work for me. Thank you for letting me know that my situation is such that it's causing me pain and I'm dishonoring myself. And when you've acknowledged the emotions have done their job, there is no longer a need for those emotions. They've served their purpose, they've given you their feedback, and then you're able to place them aside and step forward with clarity, with purpose, and with alignment to yourself and to source, to honor yourself, and to come from a place of peace and grounded presence. I hope this helps because I know that it's something that um, has helped me a lot in life because when we project emotions, then we get an emotional response and that's not necessarily a very stable place to create relationships, work, partnerships, anything in life. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, as I've said, all the links will be in the show notes below along with my social media links, should you need to want to connect with me for coaching or for any of my online courses, I'd love to hear from you. Um, my website link will also be below in the show notes. Have a fabulous week and I'll see you next week. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.